Hi, my name is Matt from Vista Research Group, and I'm going to walk you through the installation process for the VistaCool Direct-to-Drain Thermal Reduction System. VistaCool is designed to reduce the high temperature of the condensation discharged from autoclaves, eliminating the need for condenser bottles and tanks, and enabling sterilizer wastewater to be sent directly down the drain automatically. VistaCool saves staff time and eliminates the potential physical risks of emptying steaming hot bottles manually. VistaCool also helps prevent the buildup of mold, mildew, rot, and rust inside expensive sterilization center cabinets, which can be caused by spills and the humid environment created by exhaust from pitchers and bottles. Two VistaCool models are designed to accommodate either one or two autoclaves and are currently distributed by both Sican and Midmark. I'll be walking you through the installation of a model V7502 system designed to accommodate two sterilizers, but the process is essentially the same for both units. Before you get started, remove all the contents from the product carton to be sure all the items you'll need for installation are present and undamaged. You can reference the included installation guide for a complete parts list or download one from vistacool.com. VistaCool systems are typically installed under a sink in a base cabinet of a sterilization center. The system should always be installed as close to the drain and cold water supply line as possible. The 1 quarter inch high temperature Teflon tubing will need to run from the output port of the autoclave directly to the VistaCool system. In many cases, holes will need to be drilled through one or more partitions in order to get the tubing from the sterilizer to the VistaCool. In order to protect the tubing from kinking or damage, we've included grommets with each system, which are especially important to use when drilling holes in metal cabinets. Make sure to drill the holes so that the tubing makes a progressively descending angle from the autoclave to the VistaCool. The hole entering the cabinet where the VistaCool will be installed should be above the top of the tank manifold, so gravity prevents liquid from pooling in the tubing. Also keep in mind that the VistaCool itself might need to be raised slightly in the cabinet to enable a similar downward angle from the unit to the drain line. A 9-foot length of the high-temperature Teflon tubing is included with each model V7501 for a single autoclave, and an 18-foot length is included with each V7502 system. It's important not to exceed 10 feet in length for any individual section of tubing between a sterilizer and the VistaCool. Always try to minimize the length of tubing to prevent traps and pooling in the lines. Please note that we recommend that a professional technician or plumber familiar with dental and medical offices perform the installation, since we'll be tapping into the cold water and drain lines. The technician or plumber should be familiar with your local plumbing codes and techniques for successful equipment installations, because failure to install the system correctly could result in water leaks, leading to possible water damage. So without any further ado, let's get started with the plumbing. First, turn off the water supply. Tap the cold water line with a T, valve, or compression valve so the 1 quarter inch polyurethane tubing can be connected. Be sure to connect to the cold water supply ahead of any foot switch that might be present for uninterrupted water supply. Next, cut a 3 to 4 inch piece of the blue poly tubing and connect the installed fitting from our last step to the inlet of the inline water valve provided. Be sure the valve is in the closed position. That blue lever should be 90 degrees relative to the valve body. Cut another 3 to 4 inch piece of blue poly tubing and connect one end to the outlet of the inline valve and the other end to the inlet of the supplied CSA certified VistaCheck Dual Check Backflow Preventer. Measure the drain T adapter assembly for placement into the drain piping. Cut and remove a small section in the appropriate place above the trap. Keep the entire assembly as low as possible while maintaining at least a 1 inch offset from the barb fitting as shown. Rotate the drain adapter hub so the barb fitting is at the 6 o'clock position. Be sure to tighten the slip joint T's nuts once all steps are complete. Now we're ready to connect the system. Start by filling the water tank completely. Remove the manifold and coil assembly from the tank by twisting the manifold counterclockwise. Fill the tank with cold water, replace the coil manifold, and place the tank into position under the sink. Continue the tubing from the outlet of the VistaCheck 
to the top stainless hose barb on top of the brass water valve on the thermal regulator. It can help to warm the end of the tubing with hot water before pushing it over the barb. Just make sure the tubing is pushed down completely and flush with the hex stainless base of the barb. Connect the 1 quarter inch high temp Teflon tubing from the autoclave to the milky white Kynar fitting on top of the white manifold. Make sure the tubing doesn't kink when moving the autoclave or pulling the tubing through the cabinet partition holes. Now connect the 1 quarter inch black opaque condensate line tubing to the elbow fitting on top of the manifold. Then connect the other end to one of the male adapter fittings on the drain adapter. Cut that same black condensate line as close to the drain adapter assembly as possible and install the inline thermal sensor. Make sure the flow direction on the inline sensor is oriented toward the drain. If connecting only one autoclave to the VistaCool system, be sure the included plug is inserted into the second male adapter fitting on the drain adapter. Now connect one end of the half inch clear PVC tubing to the elbow hose barb on the tank, and the other end to the straight half inch hose barb on the drain line adapter. Make sure the tubing is firmly engaged over the barbs. If in doubt, use appropriately sized hose clamps. The VistaCool system should be set on a hard, level surface and installed so that the top of the water tank is above the coolant overflow fitting on the drain adapter assembly and below the autoclave outlet. If the tank is below the level of the coolant overflow fitting, the system may not operate properly. Installing a tank at the wrong height may create resistance for proper water flow, since the system is designed to take advantage of gravity flow. Adjustable tank stands for installing the VistaCool at the correct height are available as accessories when needed. These stands raise the tank height between 1 half to 5 inches in half inch increments. Turn on the main water supply and check for leaks. Slowly open the inline water supply valve fully and check for leaks. Prime the system by inserting a small screwdriver in the viewport hole on the brass stem of the thermal regulator on top of the tank and pushing up on the water valve piston. The system is primed when water can be seen leaving the half inch overflow fitting on the tank and running to the drain adapter. Check again for leaks, then run three consecutive autoclave cycles to ensure everything is working properly. Once VistaCool is properly installed, it will function without operator input. Beyond periodic visual inspections of the tubing, there is nothing users must do to ensure proper operation. If you haven't already, please be sure to register your product online at vrg.support slash register, or complete and return the enclosed warranty registration sheet. Thanks.